Hey you guys, it's Akashari here back once again with another YouTube video. Alrighty guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys already know it's your girl Shalita here back once again. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. If you guys already subscribed, welcome, welcome back. You already know it's your poppin'. Alrighty y'all, so today's video is something different. If you guys don't know, I have a wig business called Wigs by Shaw. I'm leaving it on the screen, either a screen recording on my Instagram page or just the name. But if you guys don't know, I do have a wig, wig business. You guys can go check out my Instagram page. I am going to start running that back up again. And I'm not saying that I, I stopped. I just stopped promoting myself because I just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. But I just feel like really motivated one to make a wig for myself. So this is a beginner-friendly type tutorial or like how-to video and stuff like that so um yeah we're gonna see where this big business take me i am going to launch my website very soon so excited i cannot wait to oh my gosh you guys want to see how excited i am anyways i'm gonna show you guys everything that you guys need for this video i'm just gonna need a comb any any type of comb i just have a rat tail comb the next thing you're gonna need you're gonna need some t-pins any size of t-pins it doesn't really matter and you're also gonna want to get some hair clips so you guys can like divide the hair into sections you're gonna need to get the wig cap um i got these from my local beauty supply store you guys can get these on amazon you're also gonna need some thread and needles i have two needles and the big thread you're also gonna need a hair tie to also you know go with the hair clips and section off the hair so anything won't go in your way you're going to also need some scissors because you guys want to like you know cut the bundles or whatever some bleach um i am going to bleach my closure you're also going to need obviously the hair bundles now i know this isn't the best hair um it's good it's 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 um 100 percent human hair you know you can find iron and curly diet as it says right here i usually order my hair off of aliexpress from like you know different vendors but because it's like corona going around i really didn't trust ordering online plus the hair was kind of expensive this hair was only about 28 dollars, and i'm like okay you know what this is just going to be my last hairstyle for the summer. I'm not going to waste too much money. I'm just going to be like, get a, you know, make a short wig for myself, save some money for the summer because I am going to start working. And that the money that I'm going to use when, for my business is the money that I'm going to use when I start working. And then the last thing you're going to need is um, a water bottle or anything to mix your um, bleach powder in and stuff like that. I'm going to cut my water bottle and also you're going to need a spoon. Okay, you guys, I am back. I recommend if you guys are going to do this on the floor inside of your house, I recommend you guys get like a newspaper or anything that you could put on your floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the um, bleach powder and the bleach liquid and I'll be back. And also you guys wanna make sure that the consistency of the bleach is very much thick. I might not do the process of me actually putting the bleach on the closure because I wanna get to the part where I'm actually making the wig. But once, I'm gonna like do this off camera. Once you guys put the bleach on your front tool or your closure, whatever, leave it on for a good like 15 to 25 minutes unless you think it's good to come off and then rinse it off and then um, yeah. If you guys want to do a whole separate video, like, in detail on how to bleach closures or frontals, then let me know, let me know down below. Or I might do, like, a little IGTV video on my wigs page. Also, make sure you guys go follow that page, as I said in the beginning of this video. Also, guys, I'm not leaving the hair like this. I'm going to be cutting it into, like, a long blunt cut to, like, probably, like, right here. Because my inches are 10, 12, 14. I'm going to show you guys my wig stand and my wig. Please don't mind the face. My cousin messed up my wig person oh, this is <laughs> okay i'm gonna take one of my needles i'm gonna thread both of them for you guys so you guys can see so i'm gonna unravel this i'm gonna make it like a good length because you want to like do it long so that you won't have to keep threading it over and over again because you know it's gonna just waste time you're gonna take your thread and you're gonna put it through the hole so after you're gonna put it through the hole like that and you're gonna even out the ends you're gonna make them even just put it so it could be two even ends okay so this is how it looks you put them through so that's how long it is I'm gonna prick this through my bed so this is how you're going to make a knot you're gonna take your ends your two even ends and you're gonna tie it basically like a shoe, shoe um shoelace in the beginning you're gonna do it like that and you're gonna make another knot like that that's simply it I recommend you guys doing it a couple times so that 
it could be secure. I'm gonna do it about three times, so this is gonna be my last tie. Bam. So, this is how your knot should look like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unpackage my bundles. You guys know you have to start off the longest length in the back. Um, I don't use all my three bundles of hair. I'm only probably going to use one bundle and a half. So what you're going to do, you're going to try to get all the hair out the way as possible. And when you're putting your closure or front to whatever it is, make sure you guys take off like a good two or one centimeter off the cap, like the front of it. You guys can see that off because when you cut the cap, when you're done like sewing it, you guys are going to have to like leave some out. So I just T-pinned my hair in four corners one right here the top right here another corner in the top so once you guys have all of that situated i'm gonna go ahead and redo this we're gonna take our first needle and so you're gonna want to remove one of the pins or whatever and after you do that you're gonna take your threaded needle for the 500th time that i said that and we are gonna start sewing so we're going to inject the needle we're gonna do it slightly because you don't want to go straight through the elastic band we don't want to go straight to the elastic band so you're gonna like kind of go up and you're gonna pull that all the way through until you get to your knot so after you get to your knot it's gonna stop you right there and then you're gonna do another one obviously right next to it not too well you can do it close if you want but i don't really do that and then you're gonna just pull this through Like so, you're gonna keep doing that. Sorry that it's noisy, and I'm gonna release this pin because I don't know. It's just like that. okay. I'm gonna explain real quick because I was just like rambling and talking, but basically you're just gonna continue looping the closure. Just make sure you just don't go through the wig cap fully. Just wanna do like a thin layer through the wig cap, and make sure you guys point your needle up. So you guys can see I already sewed down this part of the closure. Y'all can kind of see that right there. I'm gonna turn her head like so. <laughs> so you're gonna hold down, go like this, do the wig cap, and you're gonna pull the needle through. And pull it tight, like yank it a little bit. I'm gonna do another one right here. Gonna go through it. gotten to the end it is now 4 45 only took me about four minutes to do this you're gonna want to get your scissors your handy dandy scissors you're gonna cut about this much because my thread is like this long left um you're going to want to cut at least this much and then once you've cut your thread you're going to take this to make a knot so that it won't come out you're gonna tie it like a shoelace like how you did in the beginning to tie the knot People tie their knots way differently than I how I do it, but you know, it, it's whatever works for you, whatever method. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie this a couple times. Now that I have made a couple knots, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut off the length, like about this much, and then I should be good. So guys, this is the closure part of the wig. Okay guys, so I'm gonna explain this part real quick, but basically I just took the needle, went through the wig cap, and then went through the wig wefts that's what it's called the little black part where all the hair sticks up to Okay, so, 
since I'm almost getting to the end, what I like to do when I get almost to the end of my part, I like to cut the bundle because I don't like overlapping my wigs. Okay, guys, I'm going to explain this part really, really quick. But basically, I just cut off the end of the bundle and then I just um, sewed it like how I did in the beginning of the bundle. And then basically, you guys are going to see me tie a knot soon. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're literally going to cut about this much. And we are going to do the same shoelace type method. It is now 808. I am officially done with my wig. It looks a little crazy. As I it, I actually didn't take that long. I took a very long, much needed break. Sorry guys, you guys can see my wig tripod right there, but honestly, I don't even need it. Her closure is looking crazy because I had it like in a scrunchie in the front. So I need I just need to use my hot comb and thing like that. The last, I'm gonna just take out the clips. I, it's gonna look crazy a little bit, y'all, but don't worry, y'all. When I put it on, when y'all see me, I need to style this and use a hot comb. But this is the hair. It's to go style it, huh? I'm going to style it real quick and then come back. But let me just do the last step. The last step is to cut the wig cap the size of the closure so that you guys can, um, you know, use it. Guys, I have this much of my 12 inches left, my 12 inch bundle, which means that I can make another wig um, because I have a 10 inch bundle and you know, it could be like a short bob or something like that. Y'all, as I said, do not mind this. I'm gonna just trace it out very carefully around the edges right here. You guys can see. Okay. So once you cut it out, it should look like this. Well, it's going to look different if you have a frontal. Okay, you guys, so I've somewhat tamed the hair down. I can't style it as I wanted it because it's not actually on my head. But you guys can see the wig. I can't get it. But as I said, it's only 14 and 12 inches. And I'm pretty sure it's a 10 inch closure. I hope you guys enjoy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for another YouTube video. Bye, guys.